Are you gonna come inside? This is my new pup. He's 15 months old. His name's Tiger. That was already his name. He's a he's a pretty good dog. He's got some youthful enthusiasm still, but you know. So, anyways, that's my new trapping partner. You know, he, he's uh, he's going to be coming along on the trails with me this uh, this fall and winter. And in the canoe, today was his first day in the canoe. We went and uh, put out some uh, bear bait, and he uh, he he heals okay. You know, he he gets a little distracted by the squirrels, as you can see. You know, he's you know this is all about the squirrels right now. That's everything he's doing. So I uh, I gave him a treat. I shot him a squirrel earlier, and uh, he liked that. So, he ate the whole thing, including the tail. <laughs> uh, I just got here at, back to the, to the camp two days ago. I had a hell of a couple weeks, so I was pretty sleep deprived. So, uh, yesterday I kind of relaxed. I took him for like a six kilometer walk, you know, looking for some grouse. Didn't catch anything. But uh, today I went and checked up on my boat uh, just to make sure everything was okay because I didn't really pull it completely out of the water and I knew it rained a lot so uh, you know everything was okay there it just had had a lot of water but it was you know nothing more to say about it than that I just bailed it out and got it ready and put out a bear bait like I said and uh, tomorrow I plan on going and cutting some wood to make some uh, stretchers you know milling some wood and everything and uh, and then after that I, I'm gonna make some stretchers get my traps all sorted out and ready and uh, they're stashed off in the bush uh, at a hiding place, so um, I will go and uh, bring bring the ones that I'm going to use first out. Get them, make sure they're all uh, good. Dye the ones that need to be dyed, and uh, head out to the fishing camp where I, ha I still have a few things. So I'm going to go to the boat, go to the fishing camp, get my uh, fishing rod, do some fishing tomorrow, make some lumber, come back, and make some stretchers, and that's my plan. Okay, well, uh, today's the 6th, so uh, I, I didn't bring you guys along yesterday because it was raining the whole day. I, uh, I had a long, hard day uh, hauling stuff. I didn't do any cutting, but uh, I grabbed some boards that I, could, I cut this summer that I forgot about, so the, that should be enough to make uh, most of the boards I need to start with anyways. So, um, you know, I can make a fox board, an otter board, and then uh, a, a few mink martin boards, so that'll be enough to start with. So... Um, Tiger's in the canoe, he's being a good boy. I'm going, uh, hey, stay back. So I got I got my fishing rod today and uh, you know a couple snacks and everything. I brought my gun for a grouse. And, so I'm going over there to get those boards uh, that I made. And, uh, and then I'm going to uh, do some fishing. I brought some fiberglass because I need to patch my boat because it's, it's leaking and I gotta do that while well, it's still warm enough for the fiberglass to dry. So take you guys along with me today and... I gotta get out here and uh, pull the canoe over. I only just got a handheld camera now, like a JVC one. Uh, so, oh, gotta unhook my. Uh, I always use this one during trapping season because I mean I'm kind of the only one out here. I don't want my canoe taken off on me or my boat. So. It's gonna take some extra filming effort. The season. Hey, get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Tiger. Get back. Get back. Go. Go. Good boy. I need him to stay out the front to weigh it down, eh? So, anyways, it's a little bit dense to begin with, but I'll show you guys. So obviously I have to paddle through this stuff because uh, it's too dense and I get the motor in the weeds, but it's only like this for a couple hundred meters. Trapping season, but second day of trapping season, but uh, 
I'm not going to start trapping for another five days at least because uh, um, it's just too warm. So I remember I started trapping. It was even colder last year and I started trapping the, on the 5th and the, the first few pelts I got just weren't good enough. So well, I guess I'm you're right into the sun, eh? But uh, anyways, I got just another 50 meters and then I can start the motor. Just uh, There's just too many weeds and shit in here. Take it easy, you know, just a third throttle. Then you know if you if you mess up, oh there's a good one. If you mess up you uh you don't go flying up onto the bog. You know it's still three times as fast as paddling. I know this creek pretty good now, I've been through here uh, a few times. There's a few places you can make a wrong turn. show you guys right here is a good uh, a good spot for muskrats see right there you can see that their trail uh, right there anyways that log right there is covered in shit you could put a trap on that log right here you can see You know, that's kind of stuff I look for. You can either put a float there, or uh, if there's deep water close to their run, then you can just put a foothold on their run. That's much easier, but uh, you gotta make sure that they can get to deep water to drown. So you can't always do that. You can use a conning bear though. Well, we just walked the Portage Trail. Uh, we're at uh, the canoe, which is not quite to the boat because the, the boat needs a little bit deeper water and I can get closer with the canoe. So I kind of use the canoe to get to the boat now. So, Tiger's just uh, sitting there by my stuff here. I'm gonna flip over the canoe, push it in here, and uh, gonna go patch the boat, and then we'll come back and I'll put, put some of my muskrat floats in while I'm waiting for the fiberglass to dry. So, you know, it should go down to minus five or seven at least. Oh, snipe or something. I'll just get the rest of the stuff here, put it in the canoe, we'll go over to the boat. Hey, I thought I told you to stay. Sneaking off? Here, squirrel? So, uh, that's why I like him to sit in the front there. That's where my old dog used to sit. So I just keep the boat over here. It's just a little, it's just out close to the deeper water. I came from over there and that shit. So, we'll go and uh, fix this up. Okay, so I'm just uh, got my boat flipped up here. Um, got the tiger, the good boy, staying, right? Stay, stays on his little place there that I'm trying to make him stay. He's doing not too bad. So here's uh, here's what I got to fix. Obviously, you can see right through it. It leaks pretty bad. So I've I've been patching it with Bondo in the past and stuff. This is still pretty stuck actually, but uh, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit with a screwdriver. And then uh, patch it with some fiberglass this time, like some uh, fiberglass cloth and resin. So I just put down uh, a couple logs, 
you know, so it doesn't just fill up with water when I do it. And I'll take this opportunity while it's flipped up. You know, hey, hey, tiger, I told you stay. Come, here, here. Right there. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. You just stay. Okay. Stay. Stay. So, uh, yeah, a good way to clean your boat out is, well, obviously if you have a fire hose, that's ideal, but, and a good way to bail your boat out is with a five gallon bucket, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to use my bailing bucket and you just throw some water at it while it's like this and you clean it out. You know, if you just keep letting your boat get dirtier and dirtier, then, uh, well, it'll actually wreck it, but plus it gets everything you have in it dirty. Like, especially that sand right there, that'll, that'll, uh, wear your aluminum down. That's why the bow of the boat is worn. Here. Good boy. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. You gotta learn to stay. If you're gonna become trapping with me, and you're gonna stay alive. Yeah. Good boy. Stay. It's not too warm right now. It's probably 10 degrees. So, anyways, I'm gonna clean this up. Let it dry out a little bit. Put some fiberglass on there. And while that dries, I'll go do my muskrat floats. Alright, well we're off to go uh, put out some muskrat floats as that's uh, my uh, patch job up there is drying. Me and uh, Tiger are going to go and put out some muskrat floats over there. I think I think maybe I'll put one right there maybe. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm choosing this location. You see I got channel there, channel there. And then that's the channel I just came from. So I'm going to put a float right here. Let's get all the muskrats swimming through here. It's nice and deep water. But as you can see, there's lots of places uh, for me to set other traps as well. Like right there. I don't know how well you can see it. But there's like a little kind of tunnel there between right there and right there. Put a con bear in there. Right there, you know, 160 would be perfect. There's just runs everywhere. I think there's quite a few muskrats in here. Um, so I'm going to put out floats, I already put out two, so here's what I do, I kind of just take uh, whatever anchor, the anchor first, and I drop the anchor where I want it, okay, so that kind of holds the canoe and then I just throw it there, um, fix that, so the the wire's not over it. And then, that's it. It'll kind of drift around with the wind and everything, but... Uh, yeah, so then I can get the muskrats swimming by, but there's lots of, lots of good spots in here. I think there's tons of muskrats in this bay. So, uh, that's my third muskrat float I put out. Maybe I'll go put another one up here, and then uh, I'll go get the other ones. I got, I think, three or four more back at this spot I just can only put so many in the canoe with a big dog in here <laughs> hey tiger so right here it looks like uh, I don't know if it's a house but it's because uh, it's pretty low but there's definitely lots of muskrat activity there there's a bunch of shit on the on a log right there so I just put another float right here uh, it's kind of another central area with uh, a few channels and stuff the other one I just put uh, over there. Hey, you stay, stay. So anyways, there's lots of little channels here. I'll probably put some other traps as well. Like you can see uh, right there. You know, that's a good run there. So, oh shit. He's being a pain in the ass. He's going after the muskrat shit. Hey, tiger, tiger, get in, get in. Hey, get in. Good boy. You stay in. Stay. Yeah, he, uh, I actually thought I was recording when I put that in there and then I realized it wasn't recording, but uh, he, he just did that a little while before when I was standing up again. He uh, ate, ate a muskrat shit and I guess you can smell them, so. I think a muskrat would bite the shit out of his face though if he went after one, so you better be careful. All right, tiger, you better be careful. You stay in the canoe. Right there, there's a bunch of muskrat shit. 
he already ate half of it. Stay. Well, uh, the fiberglass wasn't even close to dry, so I'm going out fishing with the canoe. There's a house that's got a good feed pile. You'll see that in a week or so. I don't know where they're cutting though. Maybe across the water. But uh, anyways, that island right there, that's where I'm going fishing. Well, he just got a little excited. Oh man, I think that's the first fish you ever seen. But uh, I just got a decent bike there. Just trolling past uh, these rocks right here. Um, anyways, I gotta get back to it. I, this wind is just keeps pushing and pushing me. It's hard to do this in the canoe. What well, was that a world-class freak out or what? Just caught another fish and he's just like freaking trying to jump out of the boat. Oh man, you better learn. You let me take care of the fucking fishing and you just wait and you'll get dessert later. Stay. Well, two, two fish, that's enough. So paddle back, give Tiger a little bit. Poor guy. He's freaking whining and trying to jump out of the boat and trying to catch the fish. And yeah, these are some pretty good pike. Good. Fish and chips for dinner, boy? Hey? Well, Tiger's just, uh... Hey, Tiger. He's just finishing off his share of the grouse I just shot. So, I got a, I got a grouse on the way back. My first trip with just my backpack and stuff. And, uh, and then I carried this oil drum over, or the fuel drum, I should say. That thing's fucking heavy. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna head back now. Three, three trips over the portage today. Well, on the way back, I mean. So I just gotta put the rest of my stuff in here, the gun and my life jacket, and then, uh, me and Tiger, we're heading back so that I can eat. He already had dinner, I guess. Hey, leave it! Oh, he's going after my portion of the grouse now. Hey, get out!